OK, so now let's do some work with the upper heater. The upper heater represents the connections with the heavens. So it's concerned with bringing the chi in with the breath. It also houses the heart and heart protector meridians. So we've got two contrasting sensations we want to look for when we're working the upper heater. The first thing is we want to feel a kind of lightness and freedom, particularly in the lung channel. But we also want to feel a kind of secure, steady feeling around the heart. And we can use the points of the lung and the heart meridian directly to help us achieve that kind of feeling for our clients. So first of all, after we've assessed the balance of the three heaters, we can now, assuming it's part of our treatment plan, start working with the upper heater. So let's have a look at the lung first. Now the lung channel runs internally through the lungs. It emerges at lung one and then it goes down the arm into the thumb. However, we can access the internal pathway of the lungs anywhere around the entire rib cage. And I would encourage you, if you have if you're working the lung channel, to widen your awareness out and just make sure that the whole rib cage, including all the intercostal spaces, are free. Now, sometimes this can be related to the lungs themselves, but often you'll have other meridian involvement. A common one is liver stagnation, which often causes stiffness in this area. Once you've decided you'd like to open up the lungs, you can now work systematically round, slide your hand underneath, get in touch with the thoracic spine, and now systematically work around, freeing up each of the intercostal spaces until you're happy that the whole rib cage is as free as it can be. The Masanaga lung channel runs up here, but really that just represents an access to the internal pathway of the lungs, which you can feel directly by the connection of your two hands. Okay, so now we're going to work up here. Again, I'm just feeling how free the intercostal spaces feel. a little bit here just to make sure that everything's nice and free and open. Okay, and once we've worked with the internal pathway and the intercostal spaces and the thoracic area, we can then go on to work the channel. Now here's a good way of working the lung channel. What we can do is we can place the hand on lung one and now we can scan into the whole of the lung meridian internally. What that allows us to do is assess the effect of the distal points, such as lung 5, lung 9, 10 and 11, on the lung function. And what we're looking for is we're looking for this whole area to open out and for the breath to go in more smoothly. Okay, So let's just try a few of those. So we can hold here, tune in to the whole lung area, and then just using conventional shiatsu technique, two-handed connection, we can go down and we can then discover what the action is on this area from, from the subos. Sure enough, lung 5 is a very powerful point, and I can feel it opening and opening up this area here. Okay, so that's lung 5. What you may want to do is to come round like this. You're working the lung meridian. 
and it's just much easier then to get into the channel. Let's see what happens. There we are, run five. So I'm now I'm feeling a connection between the point through my mother hand and into the lungs. Okay, we can go down, keep going down. And you'll notice that it's having a generally a descending function on Nicole's breath. You notice that her breath starts to sink down lower than it was before. And we have one ten. Okay. Now, if we contrast the left and right hand side, Nicole's with you, Nicole, you can see that this is quite a lot freer now. This is more relaxed. This lung one area is more open, the shoulders drop, and she's just generally looking more relaxed on that side. So we'll go over and we'll continue on the other side. Okay, so continuing on with the upper heater, we're now going to look at some ideas for working the heart meridian. Okay, now the heart meridian runs internally in the chest, although Masanaga puts lines on the outside of the chest as a, as a guide to accessing the internal pathway. Uh, it runs internally and then comes out at heart one and then goes down the heart meridian. In a similar way to when we're working the lungs then, we need to see if we can get an access to that internal pathway. And we can do that again by scanning or thinking in, deeply in to the meridian as we work it in the chest. So here I am. I'm connecting deeply into um, Nicole's chest, trying to get a sense of the heart meridian before I access heart one. Okay, now here's some ideas for getting in touch with the internal pathway. We can lift up the shoulder and place a hand underneath the thoracic spine, my hand's now right underneath the heart diagnostic area on the back. And by scanning through, again, I'm getting more of a sensation of the heart meridian and a direct connection in with the heart organ. What we're trying to feel here is the heart being kind of stable with a calm kind of feeling and that's what we're looking for when we work the points. Okay, so we have heart one, this is an excellent point for connecting deep into the heart meridian. So I'm assessing it by contacting the uh, thoracic spine around the heart diagnostic area, sliding my hand up until I can get right into heart one and now I'm going to relax and connect just with gentle pressure. I'm just thinking into heart one and connecting it deep into the chest, into the internal pathway. Adjusting the angle just to maximize the connection. Alternatively, what I could do is also place the hand more in the conventional heart stretch, the hand and arm in the conventional heart stretch, tune in here, and work heart one like this. And this time I'm scanning in more from the front of Nicole's body. Same kind of objective, really, to connect with the internal pathway and how it, how it opens. So I'm relaxing my position, adjusting the angle, and just sensing if I can feel that kind of stable and calm feeling in the channels. Okay, and in a similar way to when we work the lung, 
we can now work out work our way down the heart meridian and what we're looking for is the action of the supers here I am on heart three Obviously, work all the points on the heart channel, assessing with the mother hand the effect that the subos have on the heart energy.